I grew up in Alberta, Canada, in a small city called Lethbridge. I'm one of five kids I'm in the middle. I went to school, came home, watched TV, played soccer. I was always interested in going somewhere far away. And so I liked the idea of traveling and seeing other places. Immediately after I graduated high school, I spent a year in Germany. I could see that I didn't have to be who I was expected to be, but I could be who I wanted to be and to explore. My husband and I met in Taiwan. We both wanted to travel and see the world. I became pregnant. During my pregnancy, we lived in Alaska and Florida and Canada and then ended up giving birth to Milo in Key West. From the first moment, Key West was really magical. It could be an ending or a beginning. We bought our first boat for $500. We were out in the ocean and I could see this bird swimming in the water, beautifully and gracefully. It had a magic to it. When I was pregnant, I imagined this person who could speak three languages and who didn't necessarily go and sit in a classroom every day, but learned through their environment everything that they needed to know. I dreamt of him like a mermaid. <laughs> I wanted him to be intelligent, but intelligent in the world, on this earth, intelligent with people he met and non-judgmental. By nature, I think he's going to be a resilient person. It's a beautiful place. The mangrove islands are so incredible. It's like the beginning of life for most of the sea life. The fish are laying their eggs and that's where the fish are born. Then they grow up and they move out into the ocean. There's tunnels that you can paddle through and you don't expect to see that in the middle of the ocean. It's important for me to live in nature and have it be a daily part of my life. I'm doing it for me and now I have a child and I'm doing it for him as well. Seeing Key West from the sky and the water that I am on every day, you get a sense of how precarious we are on the earth. And you wonder how it's still there through all those hurricanes because it's so tiny and the water is all around it. It's a small island, big water. <laughs> 